Hi, I'm here in my kitchen with a couple of grocery hauls. Uh, one of them is this first one right here is from a store in Washington, D.C. called Yes Organic. And my husband already gone to that store and we went today. So we got a couple of things from there. So right here, the Maria and Ricardo's. You've seen this brand before. Um, I got some corn tortillas. Right here, I have some Bragg's apple cider vinegar natural drink limeade. I've never seen this kind of kombucha before, NTO kombucha. So I got that. You've seen the Arrowhead Mills brand before. We got some buckwheat pancake and waffle mix. A couple of bags of grapes. I hauled some of this box water. My son, who's right there, wanted some. Got a package of uh, lunch meat, honey smoked turkey breast. So I'll kind of let you see um, what's going on with that. I got some uh, local, Milton's local uncured um, natural, what is this, uh, uncured bacon. And that's in uh, somewhere in Virginia. Of course, you've seen these little food bars before. Some more uh, pancake and waffle mix. I typically make the mix myself, but since we're in this temporary living situation, I don't have my kitchen together. So this McCutcheon's apple cider, uh, apple cider is really good. And here is the McCutcheon's grape juice, which is also really good. Let me show you what's in it. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It says 100% grape. Okay, my camera is not focusing. So, grape juice. So, it's actually really good. My kids loved it. You've seen this before. Um, one of my kids picked this up. And the GTs, the kombucha, they got like a, I guess it's a new label or something like that. So, we got one of those. And my husband picked up a Yes Organic t-shirt. So, like I said, that's in Washington, D.C. As you can see, that's on Georgia Avenue. And... This is what we spent at that store, $165. So I'm going to do the next haul. So here's part two of the grocery haul. We went to another store. It's not quite local to where we are right now. It's called Roots Market, and it's in Maryland. Some place called Only, Only, I don't know, O-L-N-E-Y, I can't pronounce it. So anyway, just wanted to show you some of the things I got. So I got some cilantro. Um, one of the things that was a little disappointing is the see where it says that's Cal Organic. So I'm from California and this brand is, you know, it's all over California. So I was really trying to get things local, but I see a lot of California. I know California provides a lot of, lots of produce for other places, but you know, I was really some of the smaller local organic markets that aren't Whole Foods. I was really trying to get local produce but you know i don't know how possible that you know i'm going to end up with the same stuff that i had when i was in california so anyway i got some cilantro <clears throat> got some broccoli here for some soup one of my daughters wants me to make some um green onions you've seen this some of the uh baby spinach olivia's baby spinach i have some um i forgot the cherry tomatoes I have a head of cabbage back there uh, some more tomatoes. These are these they said these were locally harvest hydroponic tomatoes So I got these because I'm you know, I like to get things local for wherever I am Got some yams These are some what do you, I think these are samata some mata something tangerines Oops, it's kind of close. There you go. So I got some of those These are some Yukon potatoes dinosaur kale I think I got some Fuji and some Gala apples or Pink Lady apples or maybe Fuji Gala and Pink Lady. I'm not sure. Got an onion, um, bananas. Of course, you've seen these yogurts before. Nothing new. Wallaby, Liberté, Chobani. So got some sour cream for tacos. So this, I'm guessing this is like local uh, heavy cream. They don't sell raw milk out here. Uh, so because you know you have to do the cow thing or whatever you can't get it from the stores got a couple of packs of blueberries you've seen the organic valley um, cheese before 
I got this butter because it looked really interesting. Farm fresh butter, and it looks like it's local. Yes, yeah, from Pennsylvania. Some more, what do you call this? Broccoli, so delicious. The creamer, hemp milk. You see that oat milk right there? I'm trying to get down low. That's a hazelnut milk back there. And I got some local um, eggs. So right here, I showed these before in another haul from the same um, bakery. So this time I got like, I guess it's a cookies and cream cake. My husband picked up some challah bread. So we got some pancake mix. Um, and a couple of packs of that brand of pancake mix. So I've never seen this flour before where I'm from in California. So this is a Central Milling Company. Um, bleach all-purpose flour. You've seen this before in other hauls. Yeast, um, some chili powder. <clears throat> My husband got me a little oatmeal cookie cream pie thing. Someone picked up some pecans. Here's some some of the stores, uh, house-made or in-house uh, almond butter. And here are a couple of things of bread. So, uh, yeah, this is local bread. Oh, this is in Maryland. So from some place called the Breadery. This is Montana White and Grains Galore. You've seen the ancient grains things. So anyway, I, like I was saying, here's some We Be Raw Honey. And this is local to this coast. This is from New York. You've seen the Witherspoon um, Active Honey. I think my husband said this was on sale. Got some maple syrup. I'm not sure where this is from. I can't really see through my oh this is from Rhode Island so this is local enough I don't know how far it takes to get to Rhode Island from here so here's a couple of Kavitas you've seen those before some uh, Runa's clean energy drinks and I think I've seen these before but I'm not sure so I got a couple of those here's some local apple ciders from Pennsylvania got a couple of those I've gotten this Moscato before at Whole Foods here is a pack of uncured um, bacon, and I'm not sure where this is from. I can't see. This is Iowa. I, that's not local. Um, some honest tea, some capital kombucha. I have never seen that before. Got a couple of things of spring water. Got some buffalo meat from a farm in Maryland. Got some ground beef, but. Uh, I can't see where this is from because my eyes are bad and the print is super small. Here's some grass-fed beef. And I'm not even going to bother trying to figure out where that's from. This may be local as well. So, I forgot to show this hex uh, fermented. Well, kombucha is fermented. But this ginger kombucha that I got from the Yes Organic store. And here's just some little toiletry type of items that we needed. I need some shea butter. My girls needed some more toothpaste. We needed some laundry soap. Um, here's a few uh, plastic cups. I needed some lotion. My baby, she needed some butt cream. And here are a couple of, uh, you know, the bound and spiral bound notebooks for my daughters. And I got a little small one for me. So, uh, we went to, like I said, Roots Market, and that's an only, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, O-L-N-E-Y, Maryland. So, it's kind of a ways from where we're staying right now, but, you know, I just wanted to check it out. So, we spent, I think, 490-something bucks. So, oh, really? Because... Oh, wow, tax is only 6% out here. Oh, my God. Wow, that's cheap because tax in California is like almost 10%. But anyway, okay, so this is where we went. This is the stuff we got. The second part of the haul, we went to Yes Organic in D Washington, D.C. and Roots Market in Maryland. Anyway, questions and comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.